North-South exchange between Iraqi and Kurdish water activists took place in March 2018 in southern Iraq. A Kurdish delegation, invited by fellow Iraqi activists from the South, toured the marshlands of Iraq and met with local youth, activists, and tribal leaders. For some of them, it was the first time to visit the other parts of Iraq outside of the Kurdistan region. The marshlands, which lie between the Tigris and the Euphrates, are the largest wetlands in Asia. They were inscribed in the UNESCO World Heritage List in 2016 as part of the Ahwar of Iraq. These days, political relations between Kurdistan and Baghdad are complicated and tense, and distribution of water shares inside Iraq remains contested. Yet protection of the ecosystem of the Tigris and Euphrates remains urgent for the whole region, regardless of politics. The Iraqi marshes face the challenge to sustain its water supplies in the faces of droughts and upstream dams such as Ilisu Dam in Turkey. In the Kurdistan region, Iranian dams have repeatedly cut off flows to border regions. The impact of waste on the water quality is reaching peak levels today in both regions. <laughs> With this regional dimension in mind, the Kurdish delegation of environmental activists traveled south to learn about key natural heritage sites, challenges faced by environmental activists in the south of the country, and to build a stronger relationship with their southern fellows. They visited central marshes in Chibayesh, met with the indigenous communities in the wetlands, and the tribal leaders of Chibayesh who gathered daily in the Mudhif. The sheikhs told the delegation that in their view, both the Kurdistan region and southern Iraq are neglected, and they both need to combine their efforts to improve the environment. Local environmental activists emphasize the regional magnitude of the challenges faced by the marshlands. Yeah, 
شي شخضر على الصوبين والبردي محل شيلة الفالة ابو سراج الشعلالة يا محل مضايفنا وسكرة الدالة يا هور الشبايش لا تسد الشراج The group then moved on to the city of Nasiriya, where they visited the Mashufna Cultural Center. This center was recently opened in functions as a base for environmental activists and protection of heritage. Here, the activists from the north and the south discussed strategies of campaigning for rivers and water resources. In Nasiriya, the group then went to the Civilization Museum of the city to see some of Mesopotamia's archaeological treasures. They then joined a group of Iraqi youth to visit the ancient city of Ur, one of the three archaeological sites in the Ahwar of Iraq. At the end of the day, the youth played traditional Iraqi songs on Arabic instruments while the sun set over Ur. هذا اللي تشوفونه قدامكم هو نوع من الجزيرة تسمى الشباشة أو تسمى التهلة لذلك جمعها يسمى الشبايش مثل ما سميت منطقة الشبايش في منطقة الناصرية the visit, they moved to Hawaiza Marshes under the guide of local environmentalists. This is one of the four wetland areas in the Ahwar located on the Iran-Iraq border. The main challenges here are decreased water flows from the Iranian side and the effects of pollution from nearby oil extraction. In between these visits and tours, there were many opportunities for socializing and strategizing together. While on the road, the group bonded over old Iraqi songs, food, humor, and a shared vision for the heritage of the country. Large dams, pollution, droughts are all threats that cross the cultural and political divides. River and water activists in Kurdistan and the rest of Iraq share the same struggles, which require not only local, but regional solutions. Kurdish and Iraqi civil society demonstrated through this visit that collaboration across political and cultural divides is possible and beneficial.